Well, hello there, guys. I'm Dude Long Couch. Welcome to Resident Evil 7. So here's the deal, guys. This is the quote-unquote title screen of this game. It's very minimalist. <laughs> you wouldn't know what it is just by looking at it. So some of you may be here because you're familiar with my Resident Evil 4 series. And some of you may be here for the first time. If you are, thank you for checking me out. I appreciate it, and I hope you like this. I don't know much about this game, guys. I have deliberately avoided information about it. All I know is what I know from the demo, which I played on my channel like six months ago or whatever it was, and what I've heard from word of mouth, uh, you know, just hearing things around the last couple days as the game has been leaking out and people have been playing it and getting impressions. Uh, I did not like Resident Evil 6. <laughs> I've made no secret of that. I think that game was a burning dumpster fire. And I probably would have avoided this game altogether if it wasn't for that demo, which was actually really, really good and really scary. And it made me think that maybe they learned their lesson with 6 and this game is actually going to be something special because that demo was really scary. But other than that, I really don't know. There wasn't any combat in the demo. I don't know if the whole game is like that. It was a lot like PT, the Silent Hills uh demo that came out for the ps4 and then was canceled because konami was too busy sucking every last dick in the universe to actually make a good game and uh, that's probably the best compliment i could give the game is that it reminded me of pt but in any case guys i don't know what to expect this is a blind playthrough the game just came out today so let's see what this game has to offer here we go actually before we do that <laughs> we should look at options we should do that real quick we've got the controls on there Let's just take a look here. Aim assist is on. Do we want that on or off? We'll leave it on because it's default, I guess. Camera inversion is normal. Rotation speed. We can't actually affect that right now. Or the walking speed. That's really weird. Oh, because these are only for VR. So this game does support VR. Apparently it's actually a pretty good experience, except for it's just, the game just doesn't look quite as good in VR, like graphically speaking. I can't attest to that, though, because I'm a broke-ass bitch, and I'm just playing the regular PS4 version. Um, none of this stuff looks like stuff we want to mess with. Display, camera wobble, we will leave on for now. Most of the stuff I want to leave is default. I just want to look and see what's in here. Of course, we want blood on the screen. Wait, we can do... Oh, I was going to say, if there's an option for more, I was going to turn that shit on right away. But we can only do less or normal. Tutorial messages, we'll probably leave on. Uh... Reticule only display when aiming. This all looks good. Don't really need to mess with the audio much, I don't think. And I've already got subtitles turned on. And we're going to play in English. Because I am English. Okay. Easy, normal, or madhouse. Now, here's an interesting thing, guys. One thing I have heard through the grapevine is that you don't want to play on madhouse your first time. Even if you think you're like a big badass and a risen evil expert. Because apparently it randomizes... The locations of certain items throughout the game and it can actually make it uh like a lesser experience apparently that option is for only people who have already beaten the game and would already know where everything is to make it more challenging because you're gonna like get stuff out of order and things like that apparently it is not good for the first time so we're gonna we're gonna go on normal here Don't know how the load times are just yet. That wasn't too bad. Hey, baby. I just wanted to send a quick hello, and I love you. Oh, good news. I'm going to be coming home soon. Yay! Oh, I cannot wait to be done with this babysitting job and come home to my loving husband. I miss you. Oh, I gotta get back to work. I love you, Ethan. I miss you so much. I'm sending tons of kisses. Bye, baby. Ethan. You were right. I did lie to you. I shouldn't have. <laughs> All I can say is that if you get this, stay away. Huh. Stay away from what exactly? Just offhand, 
Those graphics were pretty damn good. If the whole game looks like that, holy shit. Hey, it's, uh, it's Ethan. Oh, hey. You all right? You just disappeared the other night. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. It's Mia. She's not dead. She's alive. She, she's back. They found her? How? What happened? I don't know. Look, I, I don't know how, but she's back. She's back somehow. And maybe it's a prank. But she wants me to come and get her. Where is she? Dolby. Dolby, Louisiana. I know, I know, but what if it is her? I have to find out what happened. So this game is basically going to be the plot of Silent Hill 2? Yeah, let's, let's stare over here while I'm driving forward. That's a good idea. Actually, they could use that really effectively if I swivel back and there's something in the road. I was half expecting that. In control. This is, the place. this is the place indeed. She's alive. So if you guys don't know anything about me, one thing you should know up front is that I am kind of a scaredy cat. <laughs> I'm not retarded. Oh look, I have an inventory. Uh, I mean, I know that it's the you know it's a game, it's not real, but I'm really good at suspending my disbelief, and I really get absorbed into these scary type games. So I'm a little worried about this because that demo was scary, and if it's anything like that, which it seems like it is so far. I'm gonna have a rough time. Let's just take a look and see. Uh, okay, we got an email from Mia. A printout of the email from your wife, Mia, who had been missing for three years. Had been, he says. And then if I hit X, I get a little menu. Use, combine, examine, or discard. Can I just discard the email? I'm kind of scared to hit it. I don't know if there's like a confirmation prompt or if it would let me or what. But if I examine, I can pull it up. It's like a physical printout that I brought with me, I guess. From Mia Winters, sent July 18th, 2017. Okay, so this game is about, what, uh, six months in the future from the day I'm recording this? <laughs> Dolby, Louisiana, Baker Farm, come get me. So that directly conflicts with the message that she left me <laughs> in the opening cinematic when she said, stay the fuck away. There's already shenanigans afoot, guys. Yeah, get out of my face, bugs. Testing out different buttons right now. Oh, okay, so this is L1. I can put my hands in front of my face. Not sure exactly what function that serves yet. Maybe it's a defense thing. What is that? Is it down on the D-pad? Um, or I guess that was the touchpad. Find Mia. Okay. I couldn't tell what that symbol was supposed to be. <laughs> oh, jeez. So, of course, we're getting here, like, you know, at the end of the day, as the sun is going down. Because why would we get here, like, first thing in the morning? Let's come back this path and see what we have over here before we go to the house. L3. That's what I was looking for. I was looking for a run button. Oh. What might this be? Looks like somebody abandoned some shit over here. Okay, I think we can open that door. It looks like a tripod for a camera, but there's no camera on it. Sewer Gators, episode 17, sneak into a Louisiana ghost house. Join us. Oh, geez. Project proposal. Uh, yeah, okay. Wait, so I can't take this with me? It's not a thing that we pick up, it's just... Just lays there. Okay. Accept her gift. I don't know what any of this shit is talking about yet. Okay, I gotta see how far back here we can go. Looks like... Wow, we can actually get pretty far back here. I was half expecting the game to just stop us. You know, hit an invisible wall or something, but... Okay. There's a dude. There's a dude. Hi, person guy. Might you be a friendly? You just, you just disappeared. 
You just vanished. Okay. There's not really anywhere here to go, but you somehow pulled it off. Man, maybe I should have went to the house. I wonder if this is, like, the right way to go. <laughs> I, just, I just kind of assumed that the house would be the way to move the game forward. But now I'm not so sure. Okay, here's the invisible wall I was looking for. I can't actually get down into this area. Which sucks, because there's a lake over there. That's probably where you go to get murdered by Jason. I guess uh, we're too early for that. Let's keep going. Fuck you, crows. If I had a gun, I would shoot you. Get a hand grenade. i played this game before. This is Resident Evil 4. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what the hell is this? Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll look at that in a second. Come here, birds. Ah! That was unproductive. What were they eating? What is this? Is that like a mangled deer corpse or something? I can't even tell. Some kind of haunch of meat. I don't know. It's pretty messed up. Also, this is like a bunch of animals. This isn't just... Okay, R3 to crouch. I'm gonna go right underneath you. R3 to stand. Pretty conventional. Kind of feels like I'm playing Borderlands, but without the weapons and shit. Okay, lots of dead birds. I guess Leon Kennedy was through here already. <laughs> Which means he got all the loot. Oh shit, there's another... Oh uh, man... It's like an abandoned cabin out here. I, I kind of want to go back, guys. I don't know if I missed something back there. I was trying to be thorough and go the way that seemed like not the way to progress the game, but I, I think I may have messed up. Okay, here we go. Yep, that's about right. Came all this way back just to find out we can't actually get in this way. <laughs> Well, I had to try. Whatever. Oh, what is this? Alright. Shit. Shit, says Ethan. <laughs> so yeah, Silent Hill 2 was actually one of my favorite survival horror games. I mean, it still is. I don't know why I said was. But the whole story of that game is that the main character, James gets a letter from his dead wife, and she asks him to come meet her in Silent Hill. And that's kind of the launching point of the game, and this seems very, very similar. So I'm not sure what to make of that yet. I've also just found out that we actually can't run indefinitely. The main character kind of like gets out of breath, and you just kind of stop running at a certain point. Okay, here we go, guys. Wah! I think that was a masked loading screen right there. <laughs> it kind of made me slowly roll off that ledge. This is already creepy as shit. If there's a dude with a chainsaw and a potato sack over his head, I'm just running. Because I don't have anything to use to deal with him. Hey, let's go for a swing. Hey, we can actually move it. Check that out. <laughs> I don't know why that amuses me so. <laughs> so far the game has been pretty good about giving you like an like a context sensitive interaction prompt when you can interact with something. But I'm trying to keep an eye out and see if there's like any hidden things, like if I could sit on the bench or something like that. None of these buttons are really doing anything yet. See if we can see through the window. Hello? Yeah, my car broke down. Can I call AAA? You guys have any juice boxes or anything? It's pretty hot out here. This is a weird design. Oh, did you see that lighting pop up right there in the corner? I noticed it. <laughs> 
Okay, it's really dark in there. Can I pick any of this shit up? Any of it useful at all? Hmm, guess not. Okay, I should very much like a flashlight. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. I asked and the game delivered. So, I'm guessing this is just like a passive thing. I get a flashlight wherever I'm looking. Also, why the door just shut? Hold on, what the fuck? Damn. Alright, somebody's already messing with me. And I don't appreciate it. So I have an inventory. Obviously we can pick up items. I'm not seeing anything useful yet, though. Okay, so we can slowly push that open. Yeah, let's shut doors behind us. Although, maybe we should leave them open if we need to quickly run back. Behind closed doors. Why'd I get a trophy for that? <laughs> Just for shutting the door? That's weird. I recognize this damn house. I recognize it, guys. This was in the demo. Probably can't get in here yet. Oh, well, we can select an item to use. I don't think we have anything useful, but obviously we'll need something at some point. I don't know if people ever fully figured out that demo. I heard that they updated it. I never really went back to it, though. Like, I heard they just put more stuff in it, and people found, like, a shitload of ways to die in it. Ew. Oh, get oh, it off me. Fuck. Get it off me. Fuck. Dude, if that was VR, I'd be upset right now. <laughs> Probably a good thing I'm not playing in VR. Okay, whoever lives in this house, they have to be like zombies or ghosts or something because shit is not habitable. What is this? We have a burnt ass photograph. You can see a figure standing there in the doorway, but that's really all you can see. That's the kind of thing I wish I could take with me, honestly. Can I close this drawer again? Or is it just open forever now? I feel like I'm missing something with this. I guess not. Okay. I want to make sure I search everything, interact with everything. Hmm. Bloody microwaved crow. I guess that's better than whatever shit is in this pot right here, huh? <laughs> Over 20 missing in two years. That's all they have to say about that. Some trash bags in the oven. It's in the fridge. Oh, dude, what is that? It's like gut entrails or something. <laughs> Nothing in the freezer. I don't want to do this. There's a lot of creepy noises happening right now. In this fucking house. That's a little weird. So if there's nothing in the drawer, we can close it back up. But if there is something in it, then we can't close it back up. Probably not super relevant from a gameplay perspective. Just a weird thing I noticed. Certainly not getting in there just yet. Ah, this does open up. Okay, this is going to be one of those deals where we're going to go look at the TV and it's going to take us somewhere else, I think. Because that's how the demo played out. There's very obviously a lady. But can't make out who it is. That's just something sinister going on. <laughs> So 
So my dilemma right now is, should we get her the TV or should we go upstairs? I don't know. I figure all these pictures are coming together to form a story for us, but I don't really have enough to go on yet. Looks like the owners. Okay, so there's at least four people in the family that live here. A mom, a dad, and I think a little girl and a little boy, although that picture is probably old at this point. I really hate all the noises that just happen randomly in this house. It keeps making me think that there's like uh, something like walking up behind me or something. I'm sure that's deliberate. Okay. God damn it. The first jump scare that happens, guys, I'm just gonna, like, lose my shit. I'm gonna turn around, there's gonna be somebody standing there, and I'm gonna blow out your eardrums, so you were warned. Another thing to use an item on, but we have no items. Okay, so this is probably gonna be a puzzle. We can't see the first fuse, but then 2F, stairs, 3F... And we only have three fuses, so the stairs are out of uh, operation right now. Does that mean that we couldn't get upstairs for some reason? Or is it just like the lights? Oh no, we could totally get up there. Um, okay, let's look up there before we inspect the TV, because I, if it's like the demo, I suspect the TV is going to take us to like another instance, like another gameplay sequence. And I want to look around up here first. Stairs. Okay, so this shouldn't have power, right? It's not responding. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, derelict house footage. Shit. Maybe we need that to interact with the TV anyway. Oh, save data. Okay, so I guess this is how we save our game. These little tape recorders. Do you want to save? Yeah, let me go ahead and save it up. Alright, that was nice and quick. I like that we don't need ink ribbons. <laughs> I guess they're going to function a lot like the typewriters, except we don't need items to use it. Which is real, real nice. Alright, let me grab this. So there's no, like, fucking around. If it's something we can actually pick up, it just kind of happens as soon as I click on it. That's good to know. A videotape with derelict house footage, Dolby, June 1st, written on the label. So, June 1st, assuming that's this year, it was, like, a couple weeks ago, right? Try and get the uh, timeline straight in my head. Nothing's even happened yet, and I'm already, like, really uneasy. Okay, I guess we're gonna pop this sucker right in and see what happens. Find this guy. Give me a break, Pete. Hey, I only work with professionals. Speaking of which, make sure the sound is right this time. I don't want a repeat of Amarillo. That was two fucking years ago. I don't do ADR. It's pronounced Amarillo, dumbass. This new guy? I'm not feeling it. Your mom felt it. Just don't be surprised if we have to make a change. New plan. We do a walkthrough of the inside first, then we shoot the intro. Just like we always do. Just try to say the show's name this time, okay? No problem. Tonight on Sewer Gators, another worthless fucking shithole. Happy? Ecstatic. <laughs> yeah, so this sequence is like taken directly from the demo. I'm just gonna let this play out. Are we rolling? Alright, let's go. Get out of the way. It's locked. 
after you. So, why are we in hell this time? Do you ever prep? What's the prep? Shitty house, spooky sounds? Ooh, is it haunted? I don't know. I wonder if there are ghosts in this game. Fuck me. I was an anchor, you know? We can sub, Pete. Not anchor. What's that? Nothing. <laughs> he called you out, dude. <laughs> I don't like this guy. What's the story, Andre? Abandoned farmhouse, missing family, foul play suspected. The usual. How long do you say this place has been abandoned? Three years. <coughs> Clancy, get a shot of this. Let's make a great cutaway. So, uh, Hillbilly Joe and his family go missing. Not Hillbillies, Fuck the you. Bakers. Jack and Marguerite Baker. He was pushing me. And they were quiet, not backward. A lot of bad rumors about their son, Lucas. Bad seat, apparently. Ah, shit! I know I shouldn't wear my good shoes. What? Oh, shit. Glad I had my shots. Although, this would make a great backdrop. Andre, what do you think? Andre? Oh, that dude just straight up disappeared. Andre! Andre! Clancy, you see where Andre went? No. Didn't you? Where is he? Unfucking believable This is the last time I work with that guy. I mean, producers, they come and go, but a, a good cameraman like you, Clancy? You stick with me. Okay... I probably should actually stick with him, <laughs> so I can see where he disappears to. What the fuck was that? Did you hear that? Yeah. Andre? Where the fuck is he? Pretty sure Andre's dead already. Or close to it. Andre, where are you, man? The hell is that? What the hell? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh, nice catch, dude. All right, new deal. We, we find Andre and we go. I mean, fuck this show. <laughs> this dude's losing it. I know how he feels. I kind of want to go upstairs here in this flashback and see what's up there, though. Can't see much. No, 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 no. First, no, 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 no. Need a nice hero shot of me coming down the ladder. So, uh, you first. Nope, fuck you. We gotta run upstairs first. This might be our only chance to see that room from this time. And I'm not gonna waste it. This switch is probably still not working. I can't even try to hit it right now. Shit. Okay, never mind. This was apparently a waste of time. But I had to know. I had to know, guys. Also, I'm trying to put this off as long as possible because. fuck. You hear that little, like, ghostly whoosh sound as I came around the corner there? That's a really cool design. They did put some, like, forward thinking into the way this game plays. And I appreciate it. Okay, here we go. Just climb into this dark death hole. What could possibly go wrong? What do you see? What is it? It's a torture room. What the fuck do you think it is? Okay. 
Are you are you coming down? Cause I would like company down here. Oh jeez. Okay. I told you he was dead. Well, so much for those dudes. <laughs> Jesus. If there's someone behind Jesus. me, I scream. Huh. Okay. I was really, really expecting that. So I guess that whole sequence served to show us that there's something underneath the fireplace. Yep. So, I do wonder if we could have interacted with this before we watched that. That's a gameplay question I would really like to know. Guess I'll just climb down there where I just saw like three dudes get murdered so I can look for my dead wife. Because, you know, that's a smart use of my time. God damn it. Ah, oh, the roaches. Uh The main character. His name's Ethan, I think. He, Ethan, like, hesitated. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No. No. Damn it. Well, I guess we're pot committed now. Fuck. Okay, so this is where Andre bit it. See the blood spatter. No bodies or body parts, though. Somebody's been cleaning up. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is officially, the, like, past anything I played in the demo. So, for, I think from here on out, it's going to be all brand new. And that means I'm peeing my pants a little bit. There's pee coming out right now. Just just a little bit. Just a, just a little, little sprinkle of pee. I'm going to keep looking behind me, even though it's probably a terrible idea. Can I go underwater or anything? No, nah, I can't crouch or anything like that right now. This whole fucking place is flooded. This is a bad idea, man. This shit could, like, collapse from, like, water damage. Taking a while. Ah, fuck! God, it got me. Ah, it did. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. I even knew something was coming because I was like, this is taking like a disturbingly long time just to get through this little part. Get out of my way. I want to be not close to you. Okay. Okay. Was that one of the dudes? I really couldn't tell. Can I search him or anything? Uh, they're taking notes on people. Yeah, I touched on this earlier. I really don't know the scope of this game. Like, Resident Evil has never really had supernatural stuff as far as I know. But I think this is like kind of a reboot. Kind of a new direction. There could very well be like ghosts and like actual monsters and shit. Or they could pull an Until Dawn and have, like, some dude just, like, pulling the strings behind the scenes to make it seem that way. I don't know. Okay, this is where they keep their prisoners. Fuck these noises. Fuck them so much. Oh my god. Can't really interact with anything. Whoa, what's all that? Are those hypodermic needles of some sort? Okay, I think we actually just came into, like, Dexter's house. Like, if Dexter was, like, a backwoods sister fucking hillbilly, this would be his house. <laughs> Fuck. 
There's somebody hanging out there. Okay. We're going into stealth mode. I don't know if this even matters. But I am crouch walking everywhere. Ooh, we got bolt cutters. Okay. Ben, Harold, Arthur, Tamara, Craig, Leela, Sean, William, Travis, A... 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 Ter? Andre and Clancy. Okay, some of them are dead and some of them are turned. There's at least four turned. So... Uh, I guess that's in addition to the family. Oh god, and there's a lot more back here. Lindsay, Steven, Edward, Nadine, Alex, Tom, Reed, Susan. Okay, and then there's five more turns. So eight turns plus the family equals at least 12 people running around trying to kill me right now. We got the bolt cutters. Guessing that's the whole reason we came down here. Fuck me, guys. Oh, this goes back further, too. Uh, should we just see what we can do up here? We should probably see, right? Mia? It's not Mia, you dumbass. Jesus. I bet you we can use the bolt cutters on the chains, though. Let's look back here first. You just gotta see. Wow. Where did these people even get a gurney like this? That's not some shit you just have laying around. What is all this? Are those like trash bags? Like clear trash bags with like guts and shit inside them? Like, I don't know. This place keeps going on forever. Bunch of empty cans. I was hoping I'd get rewarded for coming back here with, like, a gun or something. But nope. Just a bunch of creepy-ass shit. Okay. Let's go cut the chain on the door. I think we kind of have to. Even though that's something I would never ever do in a million years if I was this guy. Pretty sure that's the uh, order of the day here. Here we go. Oh, look! Hey, it's channeling a little Resident Evil 4. This thing takes up two slots, even though these only take up one each. Inventory management, guys! We're gonna play some Tetris. Okay, so do we still have them? Okay, good. I was gonna say, I wonder if we could go back and, like, cut the chains on something in the house before we do this. But we're just gonna do this now. This is such a bad idea. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ! Mia. Oh, thank God I found you. It's me. It's Ethan. Ethan? What? Ethan? Are you alright? You shouldn't be here. What do you mean? You contacted me. No, no, I wouldn't. Did I? Did anyone see you? Did he see you? He? Who else is here? What the hell's going on? Daddy's coming. We need to go. Daddy? We need to go now! Oh, okay. Uh, I just want to read your room real quick. Is there anything in here? No? Okay. Mia, wait up. Mia, wait for me, please. Where are you taking me? Someplace safe. Are you going to tell me what's going on? Baby, you've been gone for three years. Three years? Has it really been three years? Gotta say, you look pretty good for having been a prisoner for three years. If that's what's going on here. What? What is this place? What'd they do to you? Not now. We need to get out of here first. I think it's this way. No, pretty sure it's the other way. 
I've already looked back here. There's... God damn it. I can't believe we found Mia already. <laughs> it's a good surprise. This is going to play out differently than I thought, I think. Mia, we have to talk. That message you sent me. Not me. That wasn't me. Damn it. You did. I didn't. Okay, fine. Just tell me what's going on. I'm telling you everything that I know. We have to go this way. <sighs> There's no, it's literally a dead end. You're, are you leading me into a trap? Are you even Mia? Mia, are you sure you know where you're going? The family used to bring me food through here. I remember. Oh. We're gonna squeeze through here? Okay. I didn't know that was possible. All right, maybe you uh, do know what you're talking about. There, it's there. This is it. I don't like this. I don't like it. I remember this room. There's another door here. I'm sure of it. It's also a creepy ass Chucky doll hanging out. It's not here. It's gone. It's gone. Okay. We're gonna be a family. Now that you're here. Mia? Don't you start pulling that shit on me. There's another door here. I'm sure of it. Okay. Uh. Jesus. Let's look at this. E001. Who the hell? Hmm. Family member, I guess? Can I, like, help you at all? Mia. We gotta get out of here. Just stay here, alright? I'm gonna have a look around. Why won't she look at me now? Oh, there she goes. Okay. Oh, wow, look. Broken glass sounds as I walk over the plate. That's awesome. That's attention to detail right there. What's this? Let me look at that. It's like a diary or something. There could be something really useful in there. Alright, let's go into the Chucky room. If this doll comes to life and starts stabbing me, I'm going to stab myself. Like in real life. Oh, God damn it. There's two of them. Oh, for fucking God's sakes. What happened to her? We're, okay, let's look at this real quick. <laughs> I have a compulsive need to examine everything, guys. Mia? Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, they came through there. <sighs> Here we go. Jesus. They're inviting me in. This kind of looks like the hallway from PT. <laughs> Can I shut this? Uh, uh, nope. You guys remember how we got a trophy for shutting that door right in the beginning when we first came into the house? I wonder if that's like relevant somehow. Like, is that going to come into play later? Let's call for help. This will work, right? Yeah, that's about right. We could have some zombie dogs crash through the windows here. Guest house map. Oh. Okay. Touchpad lets us view the map. Living room, kitchen, hidden passage. Just put the hidden passage right on the map. Smart. 
Look, it's got the basement, surgical area, storage. Upstairs, 2F is a very small area, and then 3F, there's an attic up there. Alright. So I'm guessing red means locked, blue means not locked, which means this door up here is going to be locked. Which means we're about to get jumped and butt-fucked by a vampire or something, I don't even know. Where's the mutant flesh baby? <laughs> this is right where it was in PT. Oh! I got a first aid med! Check that out, guys! Closes up wounds and promotes cell regeneration. Partially restores health. Okay, so now we know that we can take damage. And they're giving us a couple of them right off the bat. Fuck that. Fuck that. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> Where's that coming from? Dude. Dude. Stop. Please stop. I can't handle this. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> Guys, I hate this. <laughs> so they brought me up here just to get those those health items in the map, and now we're going back down. Oh, fuck. What's the bitch from the ring? What? Ah! Oh, Bob Saget! Bob Saget! Oh, my God! Okay. She's trying to kill me! Oh, resist! Resist! I'm resisting! Ow! Yeah. Wait! Wait! Fucking shit! How do I fight her? Kill the bitch! I'm just mashing R2 right now, guys. Ow! Ow! I can hear her. I can feel her clawing her way back inside of me. Get out! Leave me alone! I've been bad. I deserve this. Okay, that's not... That's not productive. R1, use first aid med. Uh, that's L1. I'm a little flustered right now. Oh, that's cool, though. Oh, wait, so is that as far as it goes? That can't be as far as the combat goes. I'm not even sure what happened there. I was, like, alternately, like, mashing R2, but then kind of holding it sometimes, too. Mia just zonked out. What the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah, I'll use this. I'll do it. We're all dead here. Is there anywhere to run? Ugh, fuck! Ugh. No! Stop stabbing me! Bitch! Oh god, I'm killing my wife! Ah, she's killing me too! God! I think I just killed my wife. I'm pretty sure that's a thing that happened. And now the phone's ringing. Why is the phone ringing? Fuck, dude. 
Okay, well, let's heal up, I guess. Thank you, magical healing liquid. I guess we should go answer the phone now. That was some sufficiently fucked up shit right there. You really shouldn't have come here. Who's this? And what the fuck is going on? My name's Zoe. There should be a way out through the attic. Attic? Go there. Now. All right, Zoe. Ah, fuck, fuck, noises, noises. I'm not sure if Mia is actually dead. Okay, so she was definitely like kind of transforming somehow, and she's gone. Yep, she's gone. That's about right. That is just about right. Yeah. Taking the axe back. Well, at least I didn't kill her. I mean. Supposedly, I don't really know. I don't. I don't know what's going on. Okay, um, I'm gonna call that an intro, guys. Uh, I am definitely intrigued by what we've played so far. I'm. I'm creeped out. I think this is a, a good start. The story is uh, taking some directions that I wasn't really prepared for, and I'm excited to see where this goes. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Thank you for supporting me. If you're not subscribed, you can subscribe to get updates as I post videos. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I'm Dude Long Couch, and I'll see you guys in the next part. Fuck, man.